Hello everyone, welcome to On The Spot STEM, and uh, today we'll be doing 2019 Amy 1, number 6. The problem reads, in convex quadrilateral KLMN, side MN is perpendicular to diagonal KM. Side KL is perpendicular to diagonal KN, LN, MN equals 65 and KL equals 28. The line through L perpendicular to side KN intersects diagonal KM at O with KO equals 8. Find MO. So, the first thing we see in this problem is that KLN is uh, a right triangle, and so is KMN. And since LMN lie on the same side of K KN, and since KMN is equal to KLN in angles, we can see that uh, this will form circumcircles because their subtended arcs will be the same measure. And so since they form a circumcircle due to the angles, we're motivated to do some angle chasing. And what we found find out is that since um, LXK is, I just let X be the perpendicular from LO to KN. So since LXK is uh, similar to KLN, we can use similar triangles to deduce some equations. And so this, similar, this similarity implies that KX over KL, because we know the length of KL is 28 and KX is part of KN. Is This is equal to um, KL over KN, because I'm taking the short side of each triangle and I'm taking the hypotenuse and I'm taking the ratio. And rearranging this equation gives that KX times KN is equal to KL squared. But we can also use another equation. We have that we have that KOX is going to be similar to KMN because these have the same angles also. And this is easy to see because these angles are the same. And so this is 90 minus OKX, and that's also equal to 90 minus OKX. So what that means is if you take the long side of each, since we want to reuse KN, since it's in our first equation, and you divide that by the hypotenuse, which is KO, and we want to use KO since we know its length, this is equal to the long side of this triangle, MK, over KN. And this is also motivated because we want to find MO, and MK is equal to MO plus OK. Rearranging this equation, we see that KX times KN is equal to KO times MK. And what we see here now is that these two are the, exactly the same expression. So that means KL squared is equal to KX times KN is equal to KO times MK. Now, since we're given KL and KO, we can just plug in our lengths and we can find MK. So we have KL squared is equal to 28 squared. This is equal to 8 times MK. 28 squared over 8 is equal to MK, which is equal to 98. And thus, since MK is equal to MO plus OK, we have that 98 is equal to 8 plus MO. So MO is equal to 90. Thus, our answer is 0, 090, zero, and we can move on. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more uh, aiming problems from 2019 in one Thank you.